today we are going to do a video about, let's just say, we're going to do a little guide, basically, like a little, it's like the back to school guides that I've done. So I'm going to do a little couple videos like this, kind of, in the next week or so, so on this. So this one is very good for the, all the young kids out there, the millennial guide for Instagram. <laughs> should be just your name just use your name just say just say Stephanie and then your username should just be if you're like a brand company like myself I use at Stephanie's live at Stephanie's live as my user but if you're like a I don't know I don't know like if you are just a regular person or a teenage person. I, I've i seen a lot of teenage, teenagers, teenage girls who use, who don't even use their name in their user. They just make something up there. i seen this one on Instagram, that X, Y, dash, and then all these numbers. Don't do that, okay? Do not do that. Do not use numbers in your user because it's just a, it's, it sounds kind of odd okay it's very odd so come up with your username just a little bit like mine but not too fancy okay not too fancy and not too crazy the person who will come to your page that's the first thing they will look at is your username okay number two website if you have a website like myself, I have my own website. I have it on pasted on my Instagram, and and I, that's what I use. But if you're like a wiggle person who has Twitter, Facebook, and you know all that other stuff, just you don't have to put it on your Instagram if you want. If you're a company, yeah, I, I would recommend putting it on your on your Instagram definitely to gain your website traffic. Like if you're a business owner or an artist or a photographer or even a realtor who is trying to gain more customers to their website, I would definitely recommend using that as kind of. I would recommend that, okay? Just definitely put that in your website on your Instagram page. <laughs> okay. Um bio number three is bio if you want your bio to stand out to the other instagram instagrammers um just keep it simple just keep it simple if you want to throw a little bit of emojis in now you can you don't have to just keep it simple and be yourself okay all right number four profile profile picture the profile picture is very important um you have to keep it professional in an instagram photo because your profile photo is the most first thing everyone looks at especially with the instagram stories they push that profile photo on your Instagram so and they go through your stories and then it cops back at you. So make sure it's really professional. Like mine, I try and be more professional. If I'm on set, I can take a photo when I'm on set. That's why I use that because it it's, creates more dynamic and I say, oh, she does a lot of stuff on set. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, just try and keep it professional because a lot of companies and a lot of employers, they might someday look at your Instagram profile and they'll see your photo. Do not, by any chance in your Instagram profile, show any pornography or nudity, nudity or any of that because you got to keep it, keep it really professional. Okay, for most companies and for free, or any future clients you have. So they will say, oh, that person's professional. I want to work with them. Okay, that's how most people 
look at that way on Instagram. And then your Instagram story. The story is very important to a lot of Instagram influencers like myself. I try and use the story as more as, as an advertisement for my business. For a, but for other businesses, I would recommend. It will gain more views and more and more people will be coming to you for that. You can just create it as a daily story. It's like when you first wake up, you can take an Instagram story of your coffee. Or if you go to bed, you can have, you can front face it and do that. Do not, by any chances, do an Instagram selfie and, I don't know, it's, yeah, just don't play put point involved. Right? I've seen those stories, I just avoided. Okay, I'm gonna edit that part out. Okay, just create a daily story. It's like a daily vlog, kind of. It's like this kind of, but it's more as a um, storytelling. It's like when you flip through pages through a book, okay? Number six, last one, use and seek Instagram influence as inspiration. You can use the Instagram influencers to build on your own Instagram, but I would just be yourself. Just be you. Show the world that you are yourself and just show people that you are who you are to your Instagrams, what you post online. Be careful what you post, okay? Because a lot of people out there post a lot of graphics and violence and nudity and pornography. Just be careful what you post on that. So it won't offend others, okay? Anyway, <laughs> besides that. So um, just you can use influencers, Instagram influencers as an inspiration. But I would just be yourself. Be who you are with your Instagram, okay? So yeah, that is pretty much it. A millennial guide for Instagram. And my own version of it. Okay? Make sure you subscribe. And make sure you follow me all the way of at Sammy's Live. And if you have any more questions on Instagram, you can contact me on my website. All you have to do is go on my website. Link's in the description. And you can just send me, you can just hit the contact button up there and just and just fill out the form and I will get back to you. Okay? Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you follow me all over the internet of At Sammy's Live. See ya, peace, bye, and subscribe. <laughs>